Hello, hello. I haven't checked my sound. I gotta make sure it's working. I was like, uh, do I have to? But yeah, it's gonna bother me if I don't. How are we? Chat. If you're here, I'm early. That's just the vibe. Today is an early kind of day. All right, sick. It's working. Burn, burn. All right. Oh, I hope you are well if you're watching this. A lot of you, so many people watch it afterwards. So I feel so strange addressing people outside of that, but um that's just what i'm gonna do i am i am good ish let's play some minecraft uh here we go wait hold on i'm supposed to try to no never mind never mind i know i know what's been causing the ratio to be weird but i'm not gonna fix it <laughs> not right now i'll fix it later Good. Good. It works. I just keep checking. I... <sighs> Hello, Zywax. How are you? I hope... I, yeah, I'm, I hope you're doing well. I'm... I am... I am here, and I am a streamer, and I'm going to talk to you about things. And that is... That is what I've decided to do today. It's strange to hear myself talk. I haven't talked out loud in a little while. <laughs> That sounds weird. I'm <laughs> I mean with with my headphones on. I I've been thinking. I don't always know what I want with streaming. But I've I think I think I'm figuring it out. Oh, you gave me hunger, you motherfucker. I used to when I first started streaming, I did a lot of talking to uh oh shit, nice. Uh myself about different things. And it was very nice, but it wasn't exactly what anyone, what everyone wants to hear. I, I want, I wanted to make this place like a place to cheer people up. And I think I can still do that while also still speaking about some things that are on my mind and stuff like that. Oh, it's Bucket. Oh, of course it's Bucket. I could, ah, oh, hi Bucket. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Bucket. I, I'm I'm so glad you came, honestly. I wasn't sure. I started early, so I was like, oh, will people be here? And you're camping and you're still watching my stream. Bucket, you're a real one. You're a full real one. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, okay. A at risk of sounding like I care too much, which I really don't want to sound like I care too much, but it's too late, I do. <laughs> I've started- I just finished two of, uh, Wilbur's- the podcast. Took me forever to fucking find that bitch. Didn't advertise it once. But I found it. It's not under his name or anything, but I found it. Hello, Megadushvin. I don't know how to say your name. Um, amazing podcast. I love it. And it- it makes me think I- I can do more things than I want with streaming. I love making fun and having fun with friends, of course, but I also sometimes just want to talk about things. And uh, if if other people can do it, I can do it, right? Fucking hate phantoms. Yeah, no shit. I love, I love the idea of them. I wish they were better. I love the concept of a phantom, but their mechanics just don't work. Like, look how they move. It's so cool, and yet... It's so much less intimidating when they're just stuck on trees and shit, and you can barely hit them, and yet... Ugh, I have so many opinions on phantoms. I'd share them all, except I... I, mm. <laughs> I want to like them, and I don't think enunciating that I don't. Like, I, you know what I mean? If, if, I, if I'm able to say that I don't like them... If I, if, I, if I say the things that I don't like about them, <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words, then that'll make them more real. Get out of bed, I need to sleep. But, um, you might know that I hadn't been doing super happy, 
recently, at least, at least the last little bit. Oh, another one. Yes. No, come here. Oh, don't die, please. I want to hit you with my looting three sword. Please. Oh, fuckers. But I'm doing decent. I've learned a lot about of things about myself after thinking for a long time. <laughs> Generally, that's how it works. And I think... I think I try too hard not to be myself. Uh, that's something I've always struggled with. And I've also struggled with a lot of toxic positivity. I, I made this I made this account so that I could make people happy, but I'm not always happy, you know? And I don't want to talk about sad things and shit, but I don't know. Sometimes you just you just want to not be super positive and, and laughing and shit like especially if that's just how your mood is and i'm not i'm not going to talk about sad things but i'm also not exactly going to force myself to think about happy things either and i think that's just something i want to be able to do is is to talk about whatever the fuck i want to talk about and if people like that they like that you know i'm not going to bring people's moods down but i'm also not going to avoid being honest that's that's what it is that's what i'm trying to say it's hard for me to say things sometimes but I want to be honest with you guys. So I figured, the reason I started today is because I feel like chatting. And I figured I might as well just come on here, talk to you guys, hopefully bring you some peace, some calm, some good vibes. While also being able to get some shit off my chest that's not serious in any way. It's just observations that I find I'm scared to share a lot of the time because they're, I think they're weird. But I don't know, they're so fun to talk about. And I hope that you enjoy that. So that's what I'm here for. Also, you know, feel free to share yours. That's the thing. Hi, Jelly Lemon. Hello. Today's a chatting stream, essentially. And I'll probably be back to playing more Sky Wars and improving and making funny jokes and shit like that. But, you know, there's a good, there's got to be a good balance. So, first things first that I want to talk to you about today is, um... Well, the reason I was sad recently was just because I was less let down by someone. And I'm kind of mad that I was let down by people that shouldn't let you down, you know? And it's, you know, it's whatever. People you think you can depend on let you down. It's not, not fun. But then that, that spurs me to think about other things like depending on people and connecting to them and all sorts of shit like that. And it's just... It's a lot, you know? It's a lot for my little brain to handle. <laughs> so uh, then when that happens, I generally start... Oh, I need to go this way. I start thinking about stories and ways that I... My voice is going to shake, but I promise it's not because I'm crying. I just... My voice shakes when I am talk lower. <laughs> I don't know. If I'm not laughing a lot, it, it shakes and it bothers me. And it's, <laughs> it's caused many people when I do... Um, when I do presentations up in front of, of uh, class, when I used to do them a lot, pu <laughs> my voice would always start to shake. And it bothered me so much because I <laughs> it's, it's not intentional. It's, it's not like I can control it. But then, uh, I, which way am I going? I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way. I have the cords out, thankfully. Uh, 200. Yeah, so my voice shakes, but it's, uh, people would look at me and be like, with sympathetic looks, and I'd always be like, oh, I know you're being, trying to be nice, you fucker, but it's just make, it's just gonna make me more self-conscious about that. <laughs> oh, I forgot a boat, oh well. Basically, um, oh, I've already forgotten, sort of, what I was going on, oh, 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 um, worlds. That's the topic for today. I, want, I I loved how Wilbur picked out two topics and just went for them. Because that's easier for me to be able to process, I think, the way my brain... Brain... <laughs> brain <laughs> what? My brain works is... I like to... Not obsess, but... I like to think about things... One certain thing. One certain group of things. For a little while. And then... That helps me process them. So that's that's what I'm going to do. Um, and today it's, I want to talk about my favorite worlds, my favorite things, because, you know, when you go through sad things, one of the best 
things to have is uh, an escape, right? An escape is escapism. And I think that's something a lot of people my age and who've been through experiences similar to mine uh, find is escapism. And I was just thinking a lot about how I've done that throughout my life and just different really positive and good things that I've encountered through escapism. Um, It's definitely, I think one of my favorites was Narnia. I have to say it was, it's the series I read as a kid when, actually I didn't even read them. They started out on, I had a CD player. Which is interesting, considering a lot of people might not know CD players, but I had a CD player and um, had a little shelf full of uh, these little booklets that I'd keep my CDs and pop them out in. And there was this guy who, to be fair, I think he might have been British because the books were written. C.S. Lewis was British, right? Possibly. I can't quite remember, (laughs) I'll be honest. Uh, it's more this way, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, I'd put those on in my, lo- in my room and I'd just listen to all of the Narnia books for a good, good couple hours. And I, I have to say, they were so calming. And now whenever I go out to, uh, woods or something, something in nature, I'm just like, oh, back in Narnia, even though it doesn't always feel the same. I wish I had better better words, better different worlds that I could <laughs> reference, but Narnia is always the one that I come back to, even though uh, overall, it's not the series that I relate to most, the, not, not the one that I'm always like, oh yeah, like if I have to say a series of books that I read when I was younger, I related to most, it might have been Inkheart or uh, I, there was one about owls that I really, really liked. But Narnia is the biggest one. They have movies about them, but the movies are shit. <laughs> Especially the last one. The first two aren't so bad, but the last one was pretty bad. And it doesn't come anywhere near capturing the world of Narnia. So it's one of my favorite things to think, think about. It's just sort of being whisked away to some other place where you could become a king or, or <laughs> you know, find magic animals and shit. Man, that's... That's that's the fucking shit. I love that. I love thinking about that. Um, that's actually for a while when I was a kid, I wanted to talk. I wanted to uh, uh, be a writer for like a, a a novel novel writer, fiction writer. I tried so hard too, but uh, <laughs> writing words on a page is just not something my brain can do. It 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 takes too long. I see it all in my head and. It's, uh, it's too long to write. I just, it's, it, it all is laid out. And I've always found that books aren't as visual as I wanted them to be. Um, which is funny because it's, it is all in your head. It's technically visual, but I, I was never able to really fully describe the things that I was trying to describe without, you know, being too expositionary. I know there was one book I read that we had to read in school, actually, and it was, the visuals, man, they were so beautiful. He described like mountains and and fucking sunrises and sunsets, and it was, it was just gorgeous. But it was so boring. I hated reading that book, and I wanted to like it because there was like it was like almost poetry. But it was so boring, man. I couldn't be <laughs> I couldn't get through it. And the more I realized that if I wanted the way I I, I tell stories to myself essentially. And if I ever could tell stories to other people, it would have to be visual. Um, and, and so I, I started to get really into movies and stuff. Um, but I still always have that love for not reading, but the wor- worlds that I did go to, I did read when I was younger. Now it, it's you're older, you, the old books, the books made for adults are so boring, man. <laughs> I've tried reading quite a few and it's it's just not, it's not the same. There's something about being a kid and being able to easily like skim over the words because they are written easier right but that doesn't mean they're like worse it's just it's just that they're more accessible and uh yeah there's just something about that that was just amazing and i and then of course like making up your own worlds which is what i was thinking about a lot i didn't know other people did that 
I really didn't. I mean, I knew people would, you know, come up with their own worlds, but I didn't know they would do the, what I did, which was <laughs> act them out and uh, force their younger siblings to uh, come along. <laughs> I never, I, I, I had no idea. And, you know, like making up shit before you go to bed. I, I've seen a few Tumblr posts where like, oh, yeah, you make up a world before you go to bed. But like, that's how I fall asleep if I can. Like, partially, I feel like it's part of the reason I do have insomnia is so bad is because I just spend my time making little worlds and shit and then getting lost in them and then <laughs> not being able to uh, fall asleep because I'm too busy imagining worlds. That's what I always call it, imagining. And then somewhere along the line, after you do it for a while, you, you feel like you're too old for it and you feel like it's dumb or stupid, but it's not. It's really not. And it, it, it's, it, it's something... It's stupid that uh, that's what <laughs> it's expected. Like, you have to grow up and just stop having imagination all of a sudden. I always saw that, you know, when when I was a kid, the enemies in my games, because m <laughs> my games weren't, like, regular life. They were always <laughs> good versus evil. <laughs> and there was always someone we had to fight. We, we would say we'd knock them out, right? Because, like, killing is bad and evil and wrong. Totally. But <laughs> we would knock them unconscious. That's how me and my sister would get rid of the bad guys we'd fucking knock them on the back of the head and that they were gone they never woke up from that <laughs> but it was our nice little workaround way of getting out of a moral conundrum of watching someone die <laughs> and then we found out that that is much more serious than they make it seem in the movies where not being knocked unconscious is simply a mild inconvenience and in fact it can seriously give you brain damage we're like oh now what do we do what do we keep, what do we do? So, oh, by the way, I was sad, so I made pretty things. I put tree and floating lanterns, and I like them. There's a broken swing, but it still works. It's a good swing. Boop. I made this while listening to very, very good rock music, essentially rock music. So now it's this very peaceful little village that I've made, and then all I can hear when I go through it is just... <laughs> very intense guitar riffs. I found that. I was thinking this today. I went for a walk, which my friends have just responded after I sent a message four hours ago being like, hey, does anyone want to go for a walk? They're like, oh yeah, we're going for one now. Uh, bitch, I'm, I'm busy now. What the fuck did you... <laughs> my inner high schooler came out. <laughs> I used to try to put on an accent, a sort of a normal girl accent I thought it was when I was a kid. That's embarrassing now. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> I like the way I speak now. And one of my best, one of the best advice that I gave myself, or realized, I didn't give it to myself, but is always be yourself because uh, it's worse when you're not. Even if people reject you, you know, the rejection is so much fucking better than trying to hide your real self. So come on, my lovely, lovely gays, let's be ourselves. Um, but yeah worlds and shit <laughs> um we definitely me and my I, I, me and my sister definitely made up quite a few good ones but she's younger than me right i'm the older sibling so i always i always <laughs> i always had the way to be able to um essentially control <laughs> she was always my sidekick and eventually she probably she fucking hated that <laughs> when we grew out of it it was just <laughs> it was just funny looking back and seeing how like it was a classic older sibling type thing. Um, I, I I do wish I never decided to grow out of it though. I I remember sort of feeling more and more embarrassed the more I did it, and and now I'm like you know, I'd <laughs> I'd really recommend continuing on. Be a kid, you know. But it's not even being a kid. It's just being, I don't know, not boring. Oh, right, I was saying that the adults in our stories were always the evil ones, for sure. We were we were the ones who had run away from them and, um, you know, fucking <laughs> beat them up. <laughs> oh, it was good times. I, I, those are memories that are sort of locked away a, a bit for me, but this quarantine, I think a lot of people have had um, been sort of exp exploring just different sides of themselves that they had no idea about. And that's definitely, definitely true for me. I have had so many, not revelations necessarily, but definitely moods. <laughs> yeah, no worries, I like, <laughs> or buckets. 
um, I'm just I'm just rambling. I've decided today is a day that I want to talk and ramble, and that's that's what it is. <laughs> um, uh, I can, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> but yeah, um, essentially, I've, I've I've I think it'll be good for me to be. It'll I think this quarantine in a weird way has been good, even though I've hated it. Um, I felt more, not ice, yeah, no, isolated, I suppose, even though I shouldn't really, considering I have a good, very tight group of friends, it's just, it's still hard when, even though we've, we are all, you know, safe and whatnot, it's still hard to sort of just see each other, like, when you, when you have school, you just see each other, you know, whenever you can, and then, uh, or, well, like, you see each other, it's a set time, you know, whereas if you're not in school, it's like, oh, when am I gonna see you, I don't know. And you, you gotta you gotta make an effort. That's what I think I'm trying to say is you have to make an effort for it, and that's that's harder. But <sighs> I'm glad to see people being themselves in a weird way. I I think our generation is one that is <laughs> very imaginative because we all we all love some escapism. At least is what I can see, and it's very very cool to uh, know that I'm not alone in that. One, that was one of my biggest fears as a kid, is always being alone. I, I think a lot of people can understand that. But, um... It's, it's, it's even less now, so... N or... It's even... It's different now. What I would say my biggest fear is. Isn't being alone anymore, it's more like being misunderstood or not understood. Um... And which is an interesting thing, considering I'm pretty sure a lot of people are like me in a lot of ways. It's just hard to see it, you know? It's hard to connect to it when you're all just talking about regular, oh fuck, everyday shit. So being able to just not talk about everyday shit <laughs> is something that I'm very glad people do. And hearing someone else do it makes me able to do it, which is strange, but all right. I hope one day I can do that for people. I've, I always, I always like being a little not inspiration, but I suppose inspiration. I, it sounds it sounds like I'm up my own ass, but I, I mean in more of the way is that's what people do, you know? It's like, a, you know, one person inspires the next, inspires the next, inspires the next. And I, I like that. So if I can inspire you, you to <laughs> keep doing the shit that you love, even if you think it's stupid or childish, that's just, just keep doing it because it's very, very fun. And, you know, as long as you're happy, that's what matters. I think I've realized that more and more and more. Uh, like storytelling especially is something that's really, really important to me. Um, that's how I see the world. I've said that to people before, like, oh, I see the world through movies and it's like, oh, you know, that's, <laughs> they're like, well, that's weird, that's bad. How do you handle that? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I like it. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I know it's not always the same as movies, but I kind of see it similarly or if i i don't know if it'd be movies but it is definitely stories you know and and that's just something that i really like to create in my head even even things that i don't really think about like my um, even like my moods essentially i have to <laughs> sometimes I force myself to I'll be like well i've been sad for a long enough time you know it's about time for me to be happy you know even though, <laughs> you know, life isn't a movie and processing shit takes time. It's it's just interesting how my brain works. I find, I, I usually used to say it's very different from other people, but I don't know if that's true. Um, I think it might just be more obvious than other people's. I do have, I know why it works this way. But it's, it's just, it's not something that I see a lot. <laughs> it's very fun when I do, though. It's very, very fun. Yeah, I was walking today and I realized that I store memories in music. I like telling people about that. I don't know if other people do it. I think they might. That was something I got from Inkart as well as st uh, storing memories in books or whatever. But I, I, I find it better with music. Because if you're in a, if you're reading a book, you're just always in that world, you know. You're not you're not really looking around. But if you're listening to a song, 
<laughs> you'll be it'll be stored in that uh, the, or that moment will be stored within with your auditory and your visual brain um oh what the fuck boat i want to boat but yeah that's something I, I actually found with like going back to the narnia thing and listening to uh essentially audio podcasts or whatever um That's, um, <laughs> that's what I had a lot as a kid, is if I listened to something, uh, like, like those audio red N Narnia, essentially it was like Audible, but they were CDs and well, well before Audible, um, it would, uh, that, that moment of me, like, just coloring in my room or whatever, if I ever listened to it or looked at the drawing that I colored, it would, I would, I would be back there, it was, it was good times, good times. Although, to be fair, a lot of what I did wasn't indoors. I I think it's cool that people understand the outdoors and stuff. Um, which sounds kind of random, probably, like a non-sequitur. But what I mean is, uh, well, I, I'm still thinking about the podcast. I don't want to be. I want to I wanna be my own person, not be inspired. But I very clearly am. <laughs> That's how I relate to things, is through other people and other, other people's stories and experiences. And then... I, I, I don't like saying that because it makes me feel like I'm depending on it or I'm not individual, but I mean, who is? Who really isn't built up by their experiences and interactions with other people? It's just most of the time other people aren't, <laughs> other, <laughs> aren't just like, well, they're, they're just daily interactions rather than something very, very more universal, but uh, you know, it's, it, it's still it's still the way it is, which uh, which I'm essentially saying is, Wilbur Soot being outside and imagining shit that made me really really happy because that's that's <laughs> that's my that was my childhood. I need to get to two oh three seven, uh, which is very close, and then uh, positive nine hundred. I'm taking the coral back. That's what I was doing before. Uh, I forgot to empty empty my inventory. Fuck. Uh, I think I literally just went in and showed you guys the house and then completely forgot. <laughs> this is why I don't multitask. Talking and doing things is difficult for me. It's okay though. I have e-pearls. But then, uh, yeah, other things that... Other worlds that I really like to live in. I call them worlds. I had a character once that would, um... It was, it was such a... It's, it's so stupid, but it's also not, so... Essentially, they were able to just travel through um, each dimension, so... Oh, I thought that was a fucking ruin. Oh, that would've been cool. Okay, I'm coming back to you. Actually... Um, so, it was very, very uni- er, uh, not universal, um... The word would be... I don't know, but they were- it was very able to be, like, inserted into different situations, right? So they would, like, travel to the different universe, and it was- <laughs> They would experience it, and then, you know, if I wanted, they would just travel to the next one and the next one, and it was- it was very fun and very cool like that. Ah, you are who I want. Yes, give me your trident, please. This is the third trident guy I've killed today. Do we see a trident? My inventory's full. And I feel like I'm lagging. No, I don't see a trident. Oh, Fuckers. I also try to- uh, I, I think it's strange sort of be trying to be yourself and manage, you know, I, I want- I want to be able to do so much, you know, with 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 any platform I have. I used to have an Instagram, and it's a lot easier than streaming. Let me be honest; it, it grew up pretty big. And when I started it, I had like one goal in mind, which was essentially I want to be able to make Instagram stories that people react to and actually tell me things. So I <laughs> I would ask like questions. I love being asked questions. I don't know what it is about, you know, people wanting to know about random shit about you because i don't like like oh 
you know, how's your day been? Oh, boring, boring. Ask me, ask me different things like, yeah, what, what fantasy world has inspired you the most? <laughs> or um, if you could be any person in the world, what, who would you be? I, I love that kind of thing. But I don't want to, I, I also love ha knowing that people are interested. So if they ask, you can kind of assume they're interested in it. Whereas if, if I just tell you guys, it's, it doesn't feel as fun, you know, it doesn't feel as engaging but you know i think that's something i actually have to get over because a lot of people don't <laughs> they don't know you want to be asked this random shit but uh they i think i've from what i've seen is that people like hearing it. i like hearing about other people especially with random questions like that it's it makes me feel less weird in a, in a good way so essentially becoming <laughs> I'm losing my trains of thought but it's also kind of fun um, essentially I, I I try to I try to not be what I call weird right because I used to tell myself that weird people you know they're the ones who end up being alone or whatever which sounds really sad but it it it's not true that's the nice thing right so it might be sad if it were true but it's not so um, everyone's weird to some extent. I just, I always felt that I viewed the world in such a strange, different way, I suppose. Um, and thankfully I don't think that's true. Or at least, if it is true, people don't mind it. <laughs> it's just a, it's just, I, I think if you ever want to, if you ever relate to me in that way, whereas you feel like you see the world purely through stories, I, I, I would say that's a, like a storyteller is what I feel like should be a thing. You know, you got, you got your, um, your, your very, very mm, t mathematical, logical people. You got your, you know, you can do the M Myers-Briggs personality test. You can do, you could do and think so much about different things, uh, and categorize yourself in different personality types. But <laughs> one that I, I only ever really relate to fully is definitely the storyteller if that and that that's one I made up right so yeah if you want to call each I think that'd be very cool if 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 you know if you're my sky children right or whatever I I, I didn't want to call you my children but it's sort of stuck um that I'll be your storyteller because I I like that I love telling stories it's the one thing that just makes the world make sense to me and it's so cool when I f see other people who are able to do the same thing. And not only able, but it's just sort of just part of the experience. I thought it was because I have autism, but I don't know. Maybe it's not. Or it is. Who knows? I don't really care. Either way, that's just how I am. And I, I really like being able to accept it. But like I said, it's something that I struggled with accepting for a while because I felt like it would isolate me. And I still, I still s sort of struggle with it. Uh, when I'm, when I can, I come to realize like, oh no, it's different. Things, things and experiences aren't, aren't just, you know, one way. And if someone doesn't like a story, doesn't mean that everyone's not going to like how you interact. But, you know, rejection, rejection's a bitch. But thankfully I'm getting stronger, I think. Oh, and then that's kind of what I've been realizing with, um walking around today <laughs> if I can remember besides stor s storing memories in uh, songs is also just you know being cool with who I am and I, I think everyone I hope everyone can can have that sort of feeling and if that's if that if you want to get something out of quarantine uh, and you want just to uh, oh please land <laughs> oh <laughs> maybe maybe just try you know being unapologetically yourself oh hmm now what I'm stuck in a block I might have to cheat to get my way out of it I've had very bad Wi-Fi today and I'm kind of annoyed by it yeah There we go. Problem solved. That's the second time that's happened to me. It's 
very obnoxious. I found I I got was I was able to get a lot of uh, discs today. I just put a bunch of creepers in boats and had skeletons shoot me for hours. It was very funny. And then I would come home. I would go into the you know, come home. <laughs> I'd go to the the bed and then and go to this uh, inventory and just see myself full of arrows. Um. What other stories and worlds do I like? I, I, I want to be able to- Hogwarts. Harry Potter. I think that's what a lot of people can relate to. Daniel Radcliffe is an amazing writer. I'm so glad that he was able to come up with that world. It's been so great to experience. <laughs> he's, a, he's amazing. I love him. Love him to death. I'm a Gryffindor, if anyone's wondering. I, I love knowing people's houses. That's another thing. I, I think something I have to realize is I love categorizing things. And I, occasionally I hide that. Occasionally I'm unapologetic about it. It's weird. I think when I have a platform or a way to just be able to talk to people, I'm happiest. And have people ask questions and ask questions. That's what I use my Instagram for. That's what I've been doing a little bit to in another platform and then now it's now i'm realizing maybe i can just do it here as well as long i i think when i started out i tr i kind of used it more i talked about sad things which is okay but i mean you you guys you guys aren't really the people to talk to about sad things are you uh, neither am i really i'm not a professional but now i think i realize i can just talk about whatever other shit that I like, you know? And that always makes me feel better, feeling understood um, in that sort of capacity. Um, or, you know, even if it's not understood, you guys are listening, and that's the coolest part for me. Or, you know, that's that's the bit that I like. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't have enough wood. <laughs> uh, I have all this shit on me. Figuratively, of course. I love this song. I listened to it in San Francisco. And now, when I listen to it, I'm suddenly in this sunny car ride through the streets of these pastel houses that are just gorgeous. I loved San Francisco. I can't say it was my favorite place. I'm not sure what my favorite place I've been to is, but it's definitely one of my favorites. I literally can't choose, really. Each place that you go to, if you ever travel, is just so unique and different. It's uh, it's so hard to choose. <laughs> I wish I could, but I cannot. There we go. Two chests. Let's do it. But yeah, I've been I've been quite a few places, and um, still haven't quite found the proper words to describe the places that are in my head <laughs> and not really the proper way either like I said I tried writing books uh, reading books I prefer making my own place worlds than li going to a place that is already been made which is I think why I never got into d and D. I I wanted to for s well want to essentially but I never got into it because it was it felt very constrictive from the very limited experience I had with it. Um, that sounds strange to say. Constrict constrictive? Is that the right word? Constrictive, yeah. It feels very constrictive. No. What I mean is... <laughs> it's one thing. There's a few classes... Oh yeah, I built a statue. There's a few classes and I know you could do whatever you want but can you because you you can't ex experience whatever you want when I when I was younger I we I made the worlds <laughs> and I like doing that I like being able to do that that's why I like Minecraft so much is because essentially you it's like in the dream SMP you can make whatever rules you want to make and you can essentially follow them so what they have is you, you can't break into the prison um in certain ways or or you know you play along with the story that's that is just awesome because there's you can be any character you want you have like bad being a demon you got a <laughs> you got uh human characters and people who 
like Filza has wings for some reason because of an anime, but canonically, why does he have wings? We don't know, but it's fun, and I like that. I like, I, I would come up with reasons for all of it and different rules, like oh, you know, different races and whatever. But that's what I that's what I really like. I guess it's world building that something that I enjoy beyond just you know, beyond playing it. What I mean is I like both equally. <laughs> um. Uh, and I, I, I just, I'm really happy that other people like that too. I mean, clearly, it's something that has blown up, and I set my spawn, yeah? Yeah, I must have. It's blown up, and it's, it's, uh, I think it's a strange sort of need that, you know, people have, that like, an itch that wants to be scratched, you know? Um, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Sometimes my words get all caught up my throat and I try to say shit but basically it, it's something that I've I've thought when I was younger you know like is what what could I do that would be a job that would I could tell stories visual stories that you know you just tell like you, you just live out I it, even more than telling you just sort of become the character and I mean I tried acting for a while I tried um, I have tried like making movies, which I still think is the closest um, beyond role playing. But role playing is what I really, really f have always felt is something that just sort of makes sense in a weird way. It's it's a way that I I put into words the way I see the world, and I, I know that's kind of hard to describe or hard to quite understand, maybe. But essentially. If I look outside and I see like the snow falling, I think that could be those could be little animals, you know, like I call them snow offs when the snow gets really, really thick and, and pretty. And I, I think oh, that, could, th that could be like a thing. And, I, uh, and um, you know, you see people living their lives and you're like, oh, maybe that that could be those could be characters. And uh, I wonder what they're like. Is this a love story? Are they happy? They could be happy, but not sure that they're happy. And then generally, my my, my, <laughs> my imaginings generally devolve into, all right, so she's going to kill him then. <laughs> or, or something along the lines of good versus evil. A lot of, a lot of fighting. Any story I ever told or, or loved has had some sort of war. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I I like defeating bad things, I, and I think that's part of the reason I love. Um, like I I, I love uh, the fact that my character is a devil person type thing, um, because it's it's such an interesting dynamic to me is a person who's good but from evil, essentially. I I love that. I love that idea. Look at this. It's so pretty. I love the way the snow is, and and I wish I wish more of my house was in snow biome not though I wonder if we could change that that would be a cool feature if you could change biomes anyways another one that i i spent years trying to find the book again because i read it when i was younger it was in this old old school library that i had and um it was <laughs> it's not a popular book series I, I still i wrote down the name but i think i've forgotten it it was like called the whistling stone or the whistler or something and it was this book series that was huge. It covered existentialism. It covered uh, mind control, evil. It was sort of there. There's a whistling stone one that covers is like aliens and sci-fi. It's not that one. It's much better. And it's essentially there's like this little village and these two like a uh, brother and sister have to go on an adventure to uh, restore their their magic stone that you know kind of protect the village from these uh, mind controlling type spirits or whatever and it was really good um and of course there's a battle and shit like that and it's just that was that's something that's just stuck in my head it's just in a in the glorified way you know like not not <laughs> not how things really are but more just oh you know when you're a kid and you can fight the bad guys and and win and and it's it's all good and shit that i like that i like that i mean to be honest. A good bit of uh, tragedy is always good as well. I mean, Finn losing his arm in Adventure Time is something that I I really, really like about that show. It's just, that's another world. That's, hey, look, back on topic. Worlds. Adventure Time. <laughs> Adventure Time's so good because 
Oh shit, that is some serious lag. I hope my frames are all right. I'm sorry if they're not. I can't really fix it because I don't know why it's happening. And it's been happening all day. I've been trying to watch a few streams and they were mad. <laughs> this The audio kept getting all weird. So that might be happening, I apologize. Um, but with Adventure Time, I, I've, I've hated, I hated TV shows that would erase what happened. So I never, I never ever watched TV shows that didn't have one single long arcing story. Um, <laughs> so essentially co comedy TV shows. I, I, I barely watched them because it just, ugh, I hated that. I was always like, well, okay, but what, but last episode, you know, you fucking, you got a new room or something. And, and now it's, now it's. Does not it doesn't ma exist anymore? What the fuck? Nah. Not for me. <laughs> so yeah, Adventure Time was great for that. They they uh, not only have o overarching things, but they foreshadow shit like from the very beginning and it gets... Oh, it's just so good. I love rewatching it. It's one of my favorite things to watch. And I, the funniest thing is I hated it for a while. Um, not <laughs> because I ever saw it, but because the first episode I saw was this... It was, it's one of the weirdest ones. It's if you ever watch the show, it's with um, Finn gets like a cavity and he has to go to a dentist, and it's 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 essentially just a big joke like episode. It doesn't really have much plot um, relevance. Uh, it's just a throwaway episode, which is rare for Adventure Time, but also you know it that they do have them, and it he falls down a hole and he, to get a cavity removed and it's like an ant army training it's so confusing it doesn't make any sense uh <laughs> and unfortunately that was the first one i saw so i was always like oh well adventure time i can't like it it's too strange you know um but then the more i watched it the more i realized oh no it's this it has rules and a world um that is very you know very good i must have already been here because <laughs> this is taken apart that's that's something I also felt really insecure about as a kid and have so, sort of realized when I went to university and had, I found my best friend who's amazing. So she's very, very, very supportive. I love her to death. Um, one of the first things I told her, I was like, you know, I used, I used to worry about having like rules for things like rules for even in, oh, this is how you interact with people or whatever. Right. That's something I kind of had to learn. I don't know if I like yeah I had to learn I had to learn it's sort of a lot harder than a lot of other people it, it took me a lot longer and uh it I kind of made rules that would suppress who I really am you know and my my <laughs> my fun side I suppose um but you know she was really like uh oh, who cares fuck the rules um so I have like a balance where now like I'm like well I, I went far to one way where I'm like okay well we don't need rules for interactions with people but then I have the other this other side of me that's like well but in stories and stuff there's some things that just don't make sense so you can't just go around you know like there's the one that's the murder hobo and shit you can't just go around killing people just out of nowhere <laughs> and I didn't used to play well with people because I'd be like no you can't do that and I'd get really mad if they broke the rules I'd be like why why are you why are you why are you just doing this uh, it doesn't make sense with the story and, and it has to, we have to do this and this, which is why my sister was really good for <laughs> playing with because, uh, she also has that. She's like, oh, you can't fucking break the rules, man. It's it just doesn't work. Makes the story, it ruins the story, ruins the fun. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's something that I kind of, uh, understand now is, oh, hello. Uh, it's just part of who I am. And although I don't need rules to interact with people, I definitely can have rules to interact with stories and characters, and that's cool too. You know, it's just I'm I'm learning. I'm learning shit. Probably a lot of it doesn't make sense. I hope I, <laughs> I hope that's okay. I suppose. Um, I just went in here just wanting to talk about random shit, <laughs> and now I'm here. Ah, uh, yeah. But Adventure Time is amazing. It's very, very, very good. Another one that I grew up with was Steven Universe. That one's just like a warm hug. Again, overarching plot. Very good. Very gay. Love it. Um, 
I, I I know a lot of people didn't like the end of it and shit, but I still love it. I I don't mind villain redemption arcs. I think that's something that you know it can be done too much, for sure. But I I like them a lot. It, it it makes I think it's because I usually put myself in the villain shoes or see myself more. I, I like playing villain characters. I oh that's the where am I going? I think I'm going the. 237. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That's why. And then this needs to be well. How the fuck did I go so far past this? This is what I don't. This is why I don't multitask. <laughs> oh, it's more this direction. Okay. So I gotta go this way for a while. Um. Yeah, it's 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 something that is takes. It's it's hard to do. I want I want Wilbur Soot's character to be redeemed. I'll be honest. I, I I think that's something I've been thinking about as well. Also, I know a lot of you don't watch Dream SMP, but that's what has gotten me back into thinking about stories and stuff. Because for a time, I just kind of was like, eh. Maybe I'll, I had to focus on school stories, and those are always a little less fun. I'm trying to make scripts and shit. It's it's a lot. <laughs> Holy shit, there's like a bright light outside my window. Um, but then, it, I think that's the difference between, you know, writing a novel and then role-playing. It's, it's, there's, it's, there's just more freedom in role-playing, and more freedom <laughs> is exactly what I like. Uh, so that's what got me back into it, was, or back into the sort of idea that I could just do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> Which generally is make a good story that's what i want to do so it's it's funny when people are like oh but if you do whatever you want you know it's it's not gonna be good it's like well no my brain will not allow me to not make a good story <laughs> um but something that i have to talk about and uh, you really should get into it if you haven't just just it's very it's a very very well told story um well many many stories the dream smp um and and dream is apparent is is apparently well yeah apparently He's become one of my favorite villains I've ever seen. And, like, that's impressive, considering I love villains. I love, I love empathizing with villains. <laughs> I love anything. I mean, my character's a fucking demon. Of course I love empathizing with uh, villains and shit. But he, he's, like, his villain is so terrifying and kind of unrelatable and unempathetic in a weird sort of way. It, that I just I just fucking love it. Okay, which way am I going? I go this way. And this way. To perfect. Okay. It, he's so creepy. He reminds me of a lot of like really like evil, you know, evil things, evil people, whatever, but in a really good way. Like I just love watching him be a fucking bitch <laughs> essentially. <laughs> the exile arc was so so good and i i wish i had gotten more into the smp um even more so because i missed i I'll, i missed wilbur's first arc sort of i kind of i kind of wasn't really into it for a little while because i didn't know who anyone any of them were i didn't know who tommy was or anyone they all grew they all grew like exploded in popularity with uh 2020 right before that i think all I had watched was Dream in the Manhunt videos, and I wasn't really into um, just the just the long form streams of something that wasn't a story. I just can't get into it, man. <laughs> but that's why. That, then once I realized, oh, there's a story here, my brain went, okay, time to obsess over it, and it's been very, very good. Um, but yeah, him and his exile arc is just insane because i know wilbur's sort of a villain but he was even influenced by dream right so it's 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 so cool to see the dream influencing literally everyone i fucking i fucking love that shit man it's so good uh i have so many theories and things that i've thought about with the smp i mean of course i don't know anything but i feel like i do just based off of what would make sense from a storytelling perspective, so I kind of feel hesitant to talk about things <laughs> because I feel like I might ruin it for people and I don't want to spoil anything. That's something that I'm really 
big on is I hate spoiling things for people because even though I, I'll take spoilers any day if, if I'm not going to see a movie because then that makes me actually want to see it. <laughs> um, I hated being spoiled as a kid. Especially because I'd be reading like these long, long form books that take hours and hours to read, uh, uh, you know, span like, like literally hundreds of, of books or maybe not hundreds, but at least a hundred or two hundred long series. And if you spoil, if you get spoiled, it's like, that's a twist they're going to build up to for like hours worth of reading and you spoil it. Oh, fucking bitches to spoil shit. Thankfully, no one read the kind of books that <laughs> no one would go all the way and read all that shit. Um, oh, I'm close. Pog. But at the same point, some people don't mind. So I don't know. Spo spoilers, probably. I'm going to be talking about SMP for a little while. Because I like it a lot. And yeah, it's definitely, I think, a lot of people like, considering it's so popular. And, you know, it, it's perfect for quarantine, considering because it's long form and... It's role play and it's storytelling all, all, all in one. It's basically getting back to a lot of people's roots. And at the same point, it's really well written, like insanely well written. Which is incredibly difficult considering it's almost entirely improv, right? Or, well, not improv, but what I mean is it's not scripted scripted. The events might be scripted, but not, not the uh, actual lines of dialogue and stuff, which is pretty cool. Hold on. Uh, throat's getting dry. Rip. But, yeah. I, I, if I could ever write a character as well as Dream, uh, the villain character, I'd be very proud of myself. I think, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's cool because with some things like Avatar The Last Airbender, right? That TV show I also loved growing up on. You have one main bad guy and then you have a lot of grayer characters down, down below, right? And that's kind of what they've done in the Dream SMP. You have the main Dream being the main bad guy who's essentially able to infect people with Dreamins and is, you know, just uh, kind of manipulating everything. And, you know, you don't really know him. I mean, I know Rambo talked about it a bit. Like, oh, well, one of the best things is you don't see his perspective. Um... And I think that to a degree, that's definitely part of what makes him so great. But part of it as well is I think he <laughs> somehow he nails manipulation. And that's very difficult because a lot of time you will just think, oh, this character, you know, why are they doing this? This doesn't make sense. But he, sl he very much slowly was able to... Uh, in s like it just made sense the way he created a sort of environment that people were manipulated against and i think partially because um it's because you know outside outside of his character you know he's a great <laughs> nice great guy which is part of the fun of it um okay so wait 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 hold on before i uh i must have missed it must be over there yes yes um, so someone, I was looking into the lore of the Dream SMP, and someone mentioned that it's, you know, I, I forget, I forget the words they use, but essentially because people know about, you know, these characters or people outside of their characters, uh, and their stream and like chat is, um, canon and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the relationships outside are kind of canon, like Technoblade before you even joined was sort of, you know, because in the Minecraft community, he was like a big deal. Uh, before he even joined, he had this sort of like reputation built up and they, you know, and they use that. Um, that part's really cool. And then <laughs> for Dream, he had that, he took that and he's like, okay, well slowly it's gonna be revealed that I'm an asshole or like this really creepy manipulative God almost, but like, you know, guy with a God complex who also somehow is related to God. Very cool, love it. Uh, that's just that's just something that is I, I I mean I don't know how intentional it might have been but it <laughs> it works <laughs> and that's that's the the fucking best part yeah I like that they made Tommy the main character as well I I think I 
heard in the beginning of the series, like people being like, I'll make this person the main character, this person the main character. But I, I don't know. I, I was always like, nah, it's got to be Tommy, right? I mean, just based off of any popular book series, <laughs> it's it, it's kind of like a coming of age type thing, but also just, I don't know, Tommy's character really made sense. Like, he was sort of all, all, also experiencing a lot of the stuff for the first time, so the audience was able to come along with it and experience it without having to have it, like, expo exposition dumped at them or, you know, whatever. Trying to deal with different characters, knowing different shit. It was just, it just worked. That, that, that I'm really happy that they kept that. Hmm. I have so many thoughts about them. I just, I feel sometimes like, oh, <laughs> am I too, am I too enthusiastic about this? But you know what? Fuck it. That's, that's the thing I went before coming onto the stream. I'm still always struggling with what I want to do with streaming because there's so many different versions of people different doing different things. And I'm kind of just throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks. Like, I want to be able to grow my channel, but also, you know, connect with my audience because I love you guys. I want to be funny because uh, well, I just like I just like making people smile. But I also want to be true and honest with my thoughts and different stuff. And that's a lot to balance. <laughs> that's a lot to cover. And what are probably going to just be sh two hour streams. And, 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 and I always see people doing things and I'm like, okay, well maybe I'll do that or do this or do that or whatever. I am still also very severely lost. I keep missing where I'm trying to go. Um, but... You can't please everyone, I suppose, and if I know what makes me happiest and still is somewhat sustainable, I think that's probably going to be the best bet. And I found, like, recently not being able to just sort of... Not, not... Uh, I don't know, I just like ranting. <laughs> it's very fun, and it's something that I... If I'm not able to do, I get... S I've just made a circle, haven't I? Bruh. Why? It's this way. But then it's... I must have... Wait, I must be going backwards and then... <laughs> I'm so... I'm so confused. I'm so bad at numbers. Numbers go into my head and leave immediately. I do not ever process them for longer than two seconds. <laughs> it must be up there. I must have I must have thought it was too soon. Um <laughs> If I could write a story and have people like play characters as well as the Dream SMP, I would be a very happy boy. I I want the SMP that my friend is writing to start soon, but they were all they're all <laughs> if you're there, they're all like, Oh wait for the one point seventeen update. I'm like, no, just start it now. If the story's ready, we gotta go. We should do it. I'm just, I need to, I need to tell a story. I need to be a character. <laughs> it's something that I, I crave. It's funny because I, I, I haven't been able to do it with other people for a really long time. Like, I'll tell myself stories, of course, or, you know, write shit, or I, I do it in drawings as well. I make, you know, little characters if I draw them and stuff, but it's been a while since I've been able to actually... Here, I'm going... Okay, it's this way. No, it's it's this way. Yes. <laughs> um, it's strange how good talking is. I, I think that one of the first things that I s said to myself, you know, at the start of this sort of s slump I had was just, you know, oh, talking isn't going to make it better. Because I've tried talking to people. Um... I think it's when it's in person, I get easily overwhelmed and all the sort of input of sound and stuff just, it takes all the thoughts out of my head and all I can do is just sort of feel overwhelmed. And that's not really what you want. You want to be able to process your thoughts, say them out loud and share them, but also, you know, share, share them in an environment that is sort of accessible and easy. Um, and that's something I kind of was like, I don't know what how to how to do that. <laughs> but I think I'm figuring it slowly out. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. 
No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I keep overshooting it. I keep missing <laughs> my chest. I just want to put my coral back in my house. <laughs> oh. I used to, I, well, I grew up in a very rural place and as much as I kind of grew to dislike that for a while it was amazing. I was able to like climb trees. I, I remember I climbed a tree once. Uh, well, not once. I mean, I climbed this tree a lot of times, but climbing trees is something that's in my head because it's sort of like an adventure. It's also probably pretty dangerous. You probably shouldn't do it. Um, but I'm not advising you on either thing to do. I'm just telling you what I did when I was a kid. And uh, we had these beautiful uh, cedar trees next to our house. And um, I saw my cousin climb climbed them once, right? And I was like, well, if he can do it, I can fucking do it. So I climbed up pretty fucking high. Uh, we climbed to I climbed to the top and above, it, it was above my two story house, right? And the tree was down a bit in, the, in a divot at the very bottom of my house. There was like a hill, a pretty big hill leading to the bottom of the two story house. And so from basement level to the roof, <laughs> I climbed all the way up this red, this cedar tree. And it got to the point where the, the trunk was so thin you could feel it swaying in the wind and I just that's one of my favorite memories <laughs> I mean it was probably it could have been dangerous or not but it was it, it was so the, the branches were very sturdy and I, I was always I was, I was a pretty cautious child I wouldn't go beyond where they were I wouldn't go to where they snapped I mean that would just be stupid and I was you always put your foot closest to the, where the um the branches so that if it snaps you still have the little knot put have your foot in and that's that's something that i think i, I thought started thinking about just with springtime because uh in the spring all these sort of memories of hanging outside <laughs> come flooding back to me especially with just oh hello you're still here hey that's pretty good bum, ba, ba, bum. <laughs> um yeah uh but that's pretty that's 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 cool so um yeah, just growing up outside is something that uh, has inspired a lot of the things that I like. I don't need this egg. I want the spider eye. I don't need the string. Let's see what I want first. Okay, I want the bell. I don't need any of that. I want this. I want this for decoration. This. Uh... Hay bales, coal, boots. I don't need all these sea pickles. <laughs> That's a lot of sea pickles. Actually, I am decorating in a room. Okay. Perfect. Okay, back home. Home, home. Uh, um, I have lost my train of thought. I have lost the sentence that I was saying. But it doesn't mean I don't have more. <laughs> oh, yeah, being outside. Hmm. That was something that made imagining and shit when I was younger so much easier. Because we, you could, you could pick up any old stick or flower and be like, okay, so this is, this is medicine now. <laughs> this is what we need to survive. Bum, bum. Okay, hold on. So I'm going to be going to 200... So this is the opposite of where I need to be going. And negative on here. Am I just going the exact wrong way? Wait, hold on. Yes, okay. Hmm, good thing I don't follow my instincts <laughs> when it comes to directions. <laughs> if I always followed my instincts when it came to directions, I would not be going the places that my head tells me to go. <laughs> I would be walking in and finding very interesting things, but none of them would be the place that I wanted to go. <laughs> yeah, it's I, I we used to have games. Okay, I I don't want to be I don't want to tell you guys too much shit because I'll be honest, it's mildly if not incredibly embarrassing in a weird sort of way. Or at least I've been told uh that even if it isn't true, 
still something I gotta get over. Um, but we would definitely, we would play like, uh, we called them warriors, right? And we would gather books, or not books, we would gather, well, let me start again. <laughs> In a book, I wrote down all the different, uh, for like herbs or, you know, like medicines and shit that would treat different injuries. And um, we would, it was essentially like a survival game, kind of. And we were like a little clan and we would have to be against other little, other clans and uh <laughs> i made my sister memorize <laughs> everything um <laughs> inside of that book so i would i we assigned each little thing so we had like cedar seeds right from the trees or different flowers or there was like what i called tiger weed i don't know what it actually was it's like little bamboo type stripey things um that are really fun they like come off in segments and we would give each one uh like a job right so like one is this is what you put on if <laughs> if they're bleeding this is what you give them if uh, you need to knock them out for a couple hours this is like we, and I made her memorize them all <laughs> and she did so well she I would t quiz her on it and have her tell them back to me like okay so what does this do and what does this do and then um <laughs> we I would make it so that you know we have to go fight the other clans of course because I mean they're evil obviously and um <laughs> we would have injuries and deaths in our clan because there was more than just one. I was the leader, obviously, and she was like my deputy. And, um, <laughs> and she'd have to treat the wounded and people might die. And it was it was very dramatic and <laughs> very, very fun. <laughs> and uh, that was part of the very, one of the very, very good things about growing up in nature. So essentially, you could do whatever the fuck you want. Like, I, I don't know what we would have done in a city without having, like, access to all sorts of wild strange plants <laughs> i find it funny when people are like oh th like they they're worried about dirt or or stuff like that <laughs> i i wish i could worry about that shit i don't need this helmet it's fine but i never i i, I never worried about it when i was a kid and um i mean like of course be sanitary or whatever but uh I'm exact. <laughs> I'm kind of the opposite of <laughs> uh, very concerned about that shit, which is yeah, it's 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 something interesting. I have a very strangely good immune system as well. I I think it's because I grew up with my parents were very very s sort of strict about not using anything outside of like natural remedies or well not natural remedies they're <laughs> they're doctor and nurse it was not natural but they wouldn't use any chemicals is what i'm trying to say like chemical cleaning products and stuff so um i don't know i think that helped a lot actually like i don't have any allergies or any any things with the uh, dust or, or or bugs or anything anything and i think it's because like i was exposed to it for a really long time um but yeah that's one thing i really liked about growing up in the country uh, i need to eat food not literally. I have just eaten and had a big cup of iced coffee, which was so good. I, w I told myself I wouldn't, and then I did. I did buy it. Yes, I did. I shouldn't, probably. But it's okay. <laughs> I did it. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? What else? What other things? I... I, I, I I have other things in my head. I'm just also mildly tired now. <laughs> we never played things based off of books, though. That's the thing. I always made up the worlds that we made, that we played. Like, I, you know, there's like, I would make up, you know, if we're in a jungle, this is, you know, the treehouse we live and you gotta like, you, you can't, you can't touch the ground here because it's thorns or, you know, you gotta... <laughs> we gotta fucking fight off the hunters, a la like Tarzan or whatever. But we wouldn't. I never. Ma I never liked trying to stick inside a world be beyond. It, it just felt like someone else's story, you know. Um, and if I couldn't control it, <laughs> and if it it had a c middle, uh, beginning, middle, and end, you know, I, I I don't think I'm a very controlling person to be honest. I used to think that because I like having stories be told well <laughs> means I'm controlling or whatever but I, I think it like I like I said it's just more I don't want to 
infringe on someone else's story and i i if they have like a vision for it i don't want to take i don't want to you know ruin that uh, and uh i think that's i don't know that's just an observation i've made about myself i don't know what <laughs> point that really has i feel so much better talking about things i don't know why i told myself i shouldn't i i think i always i, I always worry that i'm a bother or, or just you know annoying or any number of things, really. And I, I don't even know if it's insecurity as much as it is. I'm just worried about rejection, right? Because if I'm like, oh, look at this thing that I really, really like. And they're like, oh, well, that's weird and stupid. I would be like, okay, well, time to go cry for a couple hours. <laughs> that's why I generally, I put myself in places like, right now, you guys can't really reject me. I, I don't have I don't have uh, viewerships turned on. I'm only barely glancing at chat. And, and it's more like, you know, you guys are just vibing here. <laughs> I hope I'm I'm comforting or whatever, but if I'm if if you hate what I'm talking about, I won't know. <laughs> and I kind of I kind of like that. I think um it's nice it, 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 it's I know I know in my head that generally people do actually like hearing what I have to say or whatever, but a big part of me is just like, mm, you're annoying. <laughs> you are bothering them no more. And I, I work, I actively work against that. And it's a struggle, guys. I b believe me, believe me. If I had a choice, I would be mentally healthy. <laughs> this is very, very good for me to do, though, I think. I think this is, this is going to be my streaming style for a while. Because even though, I don't know if it'll be the most popular. I don't know if it'll be something that, uh, you know, is, um... You know, like, this is going to bring in the numbers. There's so many different ways people create content. And I've always, i always not sure. I know that I love creating content. I always have, like I said, had <laughs> Instagram for a while. And uh, that I really, really enjoyed making things for people and, and you know, whatever. La they like it. You get the dopamine, whatever. Um, <laughs> I just like the connection, I guess, as well. Um, but... Uh, it's it's hard for me to know, you know, what kind of thing I want to make. That's the problem. That's the problem I always have is I have too many thoughts, too many ideas, and then I, I'm not sure, you know, which ones to go, f go through with. Um, and it takes me a while to decide. I have so many saddles. Mm. <laughs> My chests are filling up from this ex expedition. Hmm. Uh. Um, but I do think that besides when I play with other people, that's going to be the sort of the funny side of me. <laughs> Although I hope this is pretty, you know, you know, nice, nice feelings. Um, that's going to be more lighthearted. And then I want to be talking about random shit because you know what? If one person can do it, I can do it. <laughs> boom, boom. It's so strange people's need to be heard and listened to, or at least mine anyways. I, I always feel like it's something that I shouldn't have, but I mean, who's really to say what you should and shouldn't have in your brain? Um, so I, I, think I, I think I'm probably done. I don't wanna, I don't wanna drag it on, you know? I think that's, that's something I, <laughs> I'm not copying anyone. I'm very, very original and I very always have original things. Also, why did, why did, why is Wilbur's podcast so incredibly difficult to find? Wh what's with that? Hey, rude. <laughs> Spent literal, like a literal hour looking for that shit. And I was so confused because people are like, oh, I love your podcast. I'm like, what fucking podcast? Where? <laughs> um, I want to tell more stories. I'm tired of not telling stories. And I'm going to be telling more stories. And I think a lot of them are going to be about my life here. And if Jack says, and whenever Jack says, you know, that's, you know, the S&P that we want to start is going to start, um... That's all that's gonna be happening. I I, I want to. I was thinking like you know maybe making like a one shot type of SMP like uh you know it's just one stream and we just tell a story in that one stream kind of like uh what's his name Carl yeah it was Carl right who did it yeah 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 I knew his name but I, <laughs> I didn't know if it was him who did it I want to say Quackney for some reason but uh he kind of made 
little short streams like that um and then, you know tales from the smp i kind of i like that a lot that idea and that's kind of smart to get to know people because i don't know everyone on the smp as well as i do a lot of you guys um so i think that'd be kind of cool how did i manage to kill like five people with tridents uh drowned with tridents and not get a single trident i'm so mad about that I hope my conversations made you either feel a little less weird or a little more understood or both. Um, and you know, maybe, maybe, maybe you can uh, check out some of the shit I recommended. But I, I actually, I don't remember what I've recommended. I kind of sometimes just stream and black out and then kind of come to and I'm like, oh, I just streamed for a really long time. I hope people like that. <laughs> oh, I also, I got the sea lanterns. Yay. Wait, wait, let's put let's put some pickles around. I want to put some pickles around. Sea pickles is one of the best the best <laughs> additions to uh Minecraft. Do they not glow? Or is it just cuz it's too light? Better be because it's too light, you motherfucker. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Yay. Sea pickle time. Sea pickle time. Pickle time. Let's go. Pickles. Yep. I think what makes me saddest is when I'm not understood or when people kind of that I depend on uh oh they need to be on sand and clay nope maybe it's just oh it's because it's not there we go um you know you get it's the gen z life essentially <laughs> we all have a very interesting <laughs> thing that we've experienced probably and uh, it's essentially hey you're gay people don't like that hey you have interests that people don't like you know it doesn't fit with people's thoughts of you but who cares really because we like each other and you like me and I like you and really that's that's what what makes this generation so great is that you know <laughs> shared trauma <laughs> So thank you for letting me rant for a while. Thank you for joining me in my Minecraft survival world. Um, I hope you like it. I'm very proud of this. This took me a long time. I'm gonna keep doing this. I think I might start streaming every day if it's gonna be kind of quicker, easier ones. Maybe, maybe not. I like having topics. That was something very smart, that's genius. I'm such a I'm such a rambler that if I don't have a topic I probably would get too overwhelmed by all the things I could say and then not say any of them. <laughs> uh, look at that. Look at that evil little face. Oh, love it. I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely evening. Don't forget to drink water. I always forget. Except now that I stream, I do not forget anymore because boy, your mouth gets so dry. I hope you have a lovely, lovely evening. Sleep well, you know, good dreams, whatnot. Thank you for letting me ramble at you. Uh, and thanks for just being pretty fucking cool. Just cool people all around. You know, tell me if you hate this stream, but actually don't because I think this is probably the best kind of style of content I could do for now. And I'll still be doing stream, I'll still be doing Bed Wars and Sky Wars at random intervals, but I think this little sort of adventures into my thought process. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll do them once a week, maybe. Hmm, that's, that actually could work. Get, get shit off my chest in a weird sort of way. Get, uh, I, I, when I, like I said, when I first started, it was too, uh, too sad. <laughs> and it just, it wasn't fun. But now I think I understand. I'm going to do fun, random chatting streams. Let's go. Let's do it. And also feel free to put your input in the comments if you feel like it. My brain goes very fast though, so you might, <laughs> if you put it with the stream delay, it might be very, very <laughs> uh, missed. But um, you know what I mean. I'll catch you guys in another life.